So welcome back uh, and you can see that uh, I've got the divide and conquer the flex pull cooking system in my Kamado and what I've done is I've set the Kamado Joe 15 inch pizza stone on the accessory rack or the spider rack which is uh, above the heat deflectors and on the top level I've got a 10 inch Napoleon pizza stone a um, little bit thinner than uh, the Komodo Joe, but I thought big pizza on there, garlic bread on there. It works, I think. Uh, this Komodo Joe pizza stone is exceptionally good, very good for pizzas. Um, I found having it closer to the fire gave a better crust. At first I had it on the top level which was too high so I dropped it down one. So I'm expecting good results at this level on the pot holder which gives it a decent gap between the fire and the heat deflection. So let's get this uh, set up and we'll take this off. Now currently we're set up for indirect um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up for half indirect and half direct. So we'll set that up now. Take one heat deflector out and I'm going to be spinning it this way. So when the fire's on, this half will be indirect, this half will be direct. I'm doing a very short cook tonight, so I'll take this out. And what I've got already is I've uh, cleaned out the ash box and the fire pit, uh, and I've just got some a lump in there which I'll just take off and also the remainder of yesterday's burn and I have in there some fire lighters and these ones are made from wood that's been uh, shredded really and soaked in wax so there's no flavour, there's no taint so I'll just start these off They're going quite nicely and then we'll just put the lump back on. Now I'm not putting a huge amount on today because this is just really a quick steak cook so there's not a lot of point in putting uh, loads and loads and filling it up as if it would be for a long burn. So we'll just wait for that to catch a bit more. So, what I've got set up is the divide and conquer. I've got the top level as indirect with the plate underneath and then the next level down I've got as direct heat closer to the fire. So I'm going to cook my steak first of all on this side uh, and then we'll move on to this side to get some proper charring. So uh, we shall come back once this is up to temperature. Okay, so uh, the grill is up to temperature. I've been using this Therm Pro, which has two sensors. This is the grill sensor, and then we have the other side of that, which tells us. So that is currently the grill temperature. I've set it to 510. It's actually 451 currently. Um, once I've got my steak on, I'm going to put the other temperature probe in. So the first thing we need to do is burp the grill and that's very important at high temperatures. Just lift the lid very slightly for a couple of seconds just to release uh, the possibility of a full force flame coming out of the front, which can indeed happen. So there we go, up here I have some broccoli which I've had steaming for a few minutes. I've used some of this, which is Angus and Oink Mumami, a special rub for steak and for beef. So uh, that's been marinating for quite some time now. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my steak straight on the direct side. I'm 
then to leave that on there for about 90 seconds. I'm going to shut the lid. Okay, we've been going 90 seconds. I'm going to just give the steaks a quarter turn, so I'm just going to burp again. And I'm just going to give the steak a quarter turn. And we'll give it another 90 seconds. Right, it's had another 90 seconds, so I'm going to open it again and we're going to turn them over. So here we go. We've got some nice marks on both, so I'm just going to move these onto the top indirect. And we're going to finish cooking these until they come to an internal temperature of about 125 degrees, at which point they're going to come off and rest. Okay, so the internal temperature has got up to 130. So it's time to take these off the grill. Okay, so here we are. We've uh, given the steaks about eight minutes um, resting time. So let's just take them out, put those over there. And this is the smaller one of the two. And you can see there, that is a beautiful rare to medium rare. And we'll just pull this big monster off. And again, we'll just take a slice straight across the front, the top of that. And there you go. Beautiful, medium rare rump steak on the Kamado using the Divide and Conquer cooking system. So let me just slice a bit of this up. We'll just put a piece, a piece of the smaller one. And some of the larger one. And this is the broccoli out of the foil. So it's steamed in a little bit of garlic butter with some herbs. And then we'll finish that off with a few lightly sautéed mushrooms. And there you go. All that's missing is maybe a few chips um, or some other potatoes. That's the uh, rump steak medium rare cooked on the Kamado K24 using the Divide and Conquer.